Do you want your internet speeds to go from this to this? Do you need to watch this video? What's up everyone? Marco the Martian here from Martian Tech. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to improve your PC's internet speeds. If this is not your first time here, what are you doing? Press that subscribe button. I have more to come, trust me. Now, let's get into the video. The reason your internet is slow is probably because your MTU is not big enough. Now, what is MTU? MTU stands for Maximum Transmission Unit. It is the measurement of the largest data pack that a network can accept. Now, if your MTU is too small, then you may not be getting the internet speeds that you're paying for. However, if the MTU is too big, then packets cannot get through the access network. If you want to see what your current MTU is, I'm going to show you. First, you're going to want to go to the Windows search option right here. Once here, type CMD and open up your command prompt. Once in the command prompt, type this phrase right here. Press enter and it'll show you a list of all the interfaces that you're currently connected to. Right now, I'm on Ethernet 2 and my current MTU is 500. Now, let's test this internet speed and see where we're at right now. All righty, so let's go ahead and press it. See, we're at 260. Oh my goodness, right now. Drop down to 242, 241. All right, so we kind of got a download of 241. Let's see what our upload is. Upload is currently 9.5. Oh, wow. That is crazy. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely not getting the speeds that I paid for. My plan is supposed to cover around 450 megabytes of download speed. But don't you worry, because guess what? Me and you are going to fix this. However, the first thing that we need to do is, is to determine what our maximum MTU is. The first thing that we're going to do is to go to the Windows search option right here. We're going to type in CMD and we're going to launch the command prompt as administrator. Next, we're going to ping a random website like Google to check to see if we're getting a stable connection. All right, so we press enter. And now you see that we got an IP address from Google letting us know that we're communicating with each other. So now we're going to type this phrase right here. What this does, it basically pings the website we did before, but only allows 1492 bits allowed. We're going to press enter. And this is what we're looking for right here. Fragmented and 100% loss. This basically means that our current byte size is too big. Now, don't worry. This is an easy fix. All we have to do is to decrease the byte size by 10. So go ahead and put the same phrase that you had up there before and decrease 1492 to 1482. Press enter. And as you see, we get the same error message as before. But don't worry. All you got to do is decrease it by 10. So we're going to decrease this from 82 to 72. And look at that. As you see, we're getting a different message now. And this is the perfect phrase that we need 0% loss now let's try to see if we can find a better bite size so all we're gonna do is just increase the increment by one so type the same thing we typed in before and turn this to 73 press enter and you see we get the fragmented and 100 percent loss so that means that 1472 is our perfect size still following along now bring out your calculator and type in the number that you currently put in mine will be 1472 and you have to add 28 to this number. This will be your maximum MTU size. Perfect. So now that we have our MTU size, we're going to tell our system how to use it. I'm going to show you how to do this right now. So let's get it again. Let's go down to the search function of Windows, type CMD and run command prompt as administrator. Alrighty. So all we have to do now is just type this simple phrase right here. Make sure to remember your name of your Wi-Fi network or Ethernet network that you're using. For instance, mine was Ethernet 2. So I'm going to type Ethernet 2 right here. I'm also going to change the MTU size to 1500 like we did before. Type this in, press enter, and you should get an OK. Just like that. Now, let's check to see what our MTU is on our network just to make sure. We're going to type in the same phrase we typed in earlier that shows the list of interfaces that we're currently connected to. Once we have our phrase typed in, simply press enter. And there we go. As you can see, Ethernet 2 is now on an MTU of 1500. Now let's test our internet speeds now. All right, let's go. Let's click on it. Boom. All right. So let's see what speed we get now. Oh my goodness. We're at 520. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. Okay. 540, 540. Perfect, man. We're starting at 13, went down to 11. It's still pretty good though, still better than last time. We had nine last time, we're at 10, 49. What is this, go away. Hey, not too bad, right? Perfect, just what I want. Actually, even better. 
if you made it to the end of the video thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like if you didn't enjoy the video make sure to leave a dislike either way i appreciate you also make sure to check out my previous video seven pc myths you need to stop believing i'm marco the martian here in martian tech and it's been real guys stay focused fellow martians peace